Okay, for maths today, we are going to continue to look at number bonds to 10. So we're going to recap our representation and look at our key words, which is equal or equals. So we have an equal sign in our calculations. We are looking at number bonds. So that is two numbers that equal one number, okay? So nine add one equals 10. Four add six equals 10, okay? 10 is our magic number today. And we're going to be writing calculations. So something adds something equals 10. We sometimes call them number pairs and we sometimes call them number bonds. But we will be using our Numicon and different resources to help us. So here is a handy thing to help you out. Okay, this is our number bonds to 10. And here's all our numbers using Numicon, which we use quite a lot at school. Okay, so I'll leave this on for you to look at in case you need to. And I'll make sure I link it in our class dojo. Okay. And we have our Friends of Ten song, which is also what we call our new Macan. We sometimes call them Friends of Ten. So again, we're going to use our new Macan, our tens frames and our number bond stick. Or we can use a number line or a counting stick. Now remember... To use our new Macan, we're going to count how many circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. So I'm going to find the piece with eight circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then I'm going to find my ten. And I can check that it's ten by going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. So I'm going to put them on the top. Count how many more I need to fill it up to get to, so it's as big as the, the ten. One, two. Find my two. There we go. So it's eight add two equals ten. We can use our tens frame, which looks a little like this. And we can use counters and we can use our pens and draw them up. So for this example, I will need three counters. One, two, let me find the third. Three. Okay. One, two. Now I'm going to see how many counters I need to get to 10. Because there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 spaces in total. Okay, so let's see how many blue ones I need. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh, I only need 7. Okay. So my calculation oh, would be 3 add 7 equals 10. Because 10 is the whole number that I want to get to. That's my total. 3 is the first part, so I know I need 3. But what else do I need to add to 3 to get to that 10? Okay, so I can use my 10s frame. I can use my number sticks or my counting sticks or a number line which we're getting very good at using okay so for example here I want to know something adds something equals 10 and I'm going to use this representation so this visual picture to help me out so let me see how many empty box I've got so they're white and they're plain okay one two three four five six seven so I would write another seven then I would see how much I need to add seven to get to ten so I would need to add one, two, three. To check my answer is right, I would count all of them to make sure I equal 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This works with a number line as well. So if I use my number line, I know I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I can count to seven. One. So one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. I like to circle the number as it helps me remember. And then you can see how many I need to get to ten. One, two, three. To each my ten. A one and a zero. Okay? So I would write three. So whether you use the Numicon, the tens frame, your number line, your number sticks, your counting sticks, your counters as you could count them out using an actual object, so I could count out using my counters. Whatever method you do, you should get the right answer, okay? So what you can do is you can use another method to check your answer. 
if you want to, okay? But it's so important that you know all the methods that you can do. So, you are gonna have some questions a little bit like this. Now this robot here, he needs to equal 10. So he's got six in one hand. What does he need to put in the other hand to equal 10? So I could use my number line, for example. So I could draw a number line on my board. Okay. So I could draw a number line on my board, like so. And my first number six. So I could find six like this, or I could count up to six. So I've already got six. Now I need to know what I need to get to 10. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my bunny hops up to 10. One, two, three, four. So my answer would be six, add four equals 10. So six is my starting number, so in this one I've been given it. And then I've got to realize how much, I've, I've got to work out how many I need to reach that 10. So I've counted using a number line, or you can use 10 frames, or you can have a go at using Numicron, okay? Then I have questions like this. So this one, I can use a number line, so I would start at five. I could use the same number line, hold on. So I would start at five, and I need to reach 10. 10 is my total, okay? So I'm going to start at five, which is here and see how many I need to jump on. So I'm going to do my bunny hops. One, two, three, four, five. I would write my calculation out. So five, add five equals 10. Now I need to check my number formation and make sure my letters are formed correctly. Because sometimes if we mix them up, for example, six and nine, if you mix those up, you could get the wrong answer. Okay, so you need to be careful that your numbers are clear, especially the numbers two and five, because if we don't do these correctly, we can maybe get them mixed up. Because some people can mix a flip a two, and it looks a bit like a five. So really focus on your number formations and making sure it's clear. Okay, for this one here, we've got a little bit of a challenge, and this is something that I've looked at when I was in year two, and they are very tricky and they're part of our challenge questions for today. So 10 is our total number and we're going to split it into two, okay? So how I see it is like this. Okay. Whatever's in this box here, I add to this box and that will equal 10. So I've got two because these two numbers here mix up to that. So think of it as you've got Two counts in this hand. What do you need in this hand to equal 10? Okay, so that's how I see it. You've got two in this hand. So how many more? What do I need to have in this hand? So when I put my hands together, I have 10. So what I could do is I could use counters and add and count how many I need to add until I reach 10. Or I can use a number line. So here we go. So, my first number is actually drawn for me, so I need to work it out. One, two. Two. Now, how does a two look? A two looks like this. I'm just going to draw a number two. So, I know a two looks like this. I'm going to use a number line. So, I'm going to find my two. Oh, there it is. I'm going to circle it. Now I need to count how many bunny hops I need to reach 10. Okay, because my answer needs to be 10. Okay, so let's try. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we think the answer is eight. So let's try it with my counters, okay? So I've got two counters in this hand, and now I'm going to count to eight. And then let's see if when I add them together, it's the same. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight. So I've got eight in this hand and two in this hand. Okay, I'm going to put my hands together and see how many I've got. I'm going to count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I've actually managed to do that and I know it's ten. So I can write it as a number which looks like this. It's my eight. Don't confuse it with your six. It's two circles on top of each other. Eight. And I can draw eight little dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that equals ten. So what you're going to do is you have some challenge cards, okay? You have five challenge cards there. And what I'd like you to do is complete these questions onto your squared paper. Now use the resources to help you, so draw a number line. If you need to draw your circles to help you work out, do it. You need to convince me and you need to show me how you know. Okay? Your challenges look a bit like this. So you've got your, we call these part whole models. Okay? So you can create your ones of these. And if you really want a challenge, you can create your own tens frame. So think of a question. For example, two. What do I need to add to two to get to ten? And then you could draw your circles, maybe in different colours or different patterns, to show that calculation. Don't forget to share it with me, and I look forward to seeing how you've got on with this one, because it is quite tricky, and I need you to convince me and show me how you know. Alright, year one, I'll speak to you very soon. See you later.